हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन द पोजीशन ऑफ ए पार्टिकल अलॉन्ग अ स्ट्रीट लाइन सो वी आर गिवन एस ऑफ टी फंक्शन राइट सो इफ आई राइट दैन दिस एस ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू टी क्यूब माइनस सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टीन टी प्लस सेवन सो वी आर गिवन दिस एस ऑफ टी फंक्शन and it is said that determine the total distance traveled when t is 10 second right so we have to find the s total when t is 10 second and further we have to find the particles average velocity so the particles average velocity is the total change in displacement right so this total displacement divided by total time we have to find this and then we have to find the average speed as well so the average speed is total distance traveled divided by total time and then we have to find the velocity after 10 seconds and the acceleration at this particular 10 second time we have to find the instantaneous velocity and acceleration right so i will write that we have to find velocity at 10 seconds and acceleration at 10 seconds so first we have this as of t function so if we take the derivative of this so then we will uh, get v of t function so v of t function is 3t square minus 12t and this is minus 15 and similarly uh, if you want to find the acceleration function so a of t will be 6t minus 12 so now if you want to find the instantaneous velocity at 10 seconds so we can find using these two function right so velocity at 10 seconds will be equal to 3 10 square minus 12 into 10 minus 15 so this will give us the velocity of 10 seconds at particular 10 second and then we can find acceleration at 10 seconds right so this will be 6 into 10 minus 12 so velocity at 10 second is 165 feet per second and the acceleration at 10 second is 48 feet per second square right now to find the uh, average speed and average velocity first we have to determine the path of the particle right so let me define our coordinate system first so if i define my coordinate system let's say that the positive position is in the towards right right so let's say that this is our positive s to determine the path of the this particle so first what we have to do is that we have to find the time at which the velocity will become zero right so at that particular point the particle will change its direction of motion right so first what we have to do is we have to equate this velocity function equals to zero right so this 3t square minus 12t minus 15 so if we equate this equal to zero and then if we find the roots of this quadratic function right so then it has two roots one is t equals to minus 1 second and t equals to plus 5 second right so time cannot be negative so this one is the realistic root right so this means that at t equals to 5 second this particle changes its direction right so if we find the the position after uh, at 0 seconds right so if we find s not so s not is the position at t equals to 0 right so if we put t equals to 0 in this uh, function so then this will give us plus 7 feet right so let's say that if if this if it, if this is origin right if let's say that here the position is equal to 0 so then at t is equal to 0 the particle is somewhere here let's say that this is plus 7 s is equal to plus 7 feet right the units are in feet so this is at t equals to 0 so initially the particle is here right and if we find s of 5 the position after 5 second right so if we put T equals to five in this equation, right? So this will give us five to the power three minus six into five square minus fifteen into five plus seven. So this gives us s five equals to minus ninety three feet, right? So this means that after five second, the particle is somewhere here. That is at a distance of minus ninety three from this origin, right? So this is minus ninety three feet, right? And this is t equals to five second. so this means that the particle was here after after 5 second right 
and if we find the we are given that t equals to 10 second right so if we find s at 10 seconds right so we will put uh, t equals to 10 in this s of t function right so if we put t equals to 10 so then this will be 10 cube minus 6 into 10 square minus 15 into 10 plus 7 right so this will give us 257 feet so this is plus 257 feet so after 10 seconds the particle is let's say that somewhere here this is let's say plus 257 feet right so this means that initially the particle was traveling towards right towards left sorry and then it turned back and then it reached to this point after 10 seconds right so this is the final position of this particle right so initially the particle was moving towards left and then it deaccelerated deaccelerated and the velocity became zero at t equals to 5 second right since the root of this equation is t equals to 5 second and then it turned back and then it traveled towards right so now we can find the total distance traveled right so total distance traveled so first we will find this distance so this distance will be uh, final position so let's say the final position is minus 93 minus 7 the initial position and then we have to take the absolute right so the total the distance traveled is always positive right so it's minus 93 minus 7 plus then the final position of this from here to here right so we will write 257 minus minus 93 and we will take the absolute so this will give us the total distance traveled So the total distance traveled comes out to be 450 feet, right? So this is the total distance traveled. This was asked, this was required to determine, right? So now we can find the average velocity as well. So if we write average velocity, so then average velocity is delta S. The change in the displacement, the total displacement, right? So the delta S is from here to here, right? So this is our delta S. This is the displacement, right? So displacement delta S is the final position minus the initial position. So the final position is S10 and the initial position is S0, right? And this will be divided by total time. So total time is 10 second, right? So S10, so S10 is 257. So I will write 257 minus S0. So S0 is 7 feet. We will write minus 7 divided by 10. So this will be 250 divided by 10. So this will be 25 feet per second. And this is average velocity, right? And now if you want to find the average speed, so then this will be average speed will be equal to uh, total distance traveled divided by total time. So total distance traveled is 450. So I will write 450 divided by 10. So this comes out to be 45 feet per second. Right, so the velocity after 10 second is 165 feet per second. The velocity at 10 second, sorry, this is the instantaneous velocity. So the velocity at 10 second is 165 feet per second. The acceleration at 10 second is 48 feet per second. And similarly, the total distance traveled is 450. The average velocity is 25 feet per second and the average speed is 45 feet per second, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.